Moving on, we've got this post here courtesy of Modern Notoriety. Big up Modern Notoriety who have featured here the free um, shoes that are meant to be coming out for the Action Bronson's New Balance 1906 R pack. So Action Bronson's got a new pair of New Balances coming out. He updated or he added his colorway twist on the 1906s or 1906s New Balance shoe. And the one that I kind of like the most is the one that's been the most con controversial, which is the one here in the middle. That middle one is probably my favorite. It's a, it's, it's allegedly it's influenced by women's colorways, which I love because there's a, um, there's a common theme, especially with Nike, the Air Maxes. A lot of the best Air Max colorways are usually women's, but unfortunately, women's Nike shoes only go up to a women's 13, which I think is equivalent to a men's 9.5. And I used to be a 9.5, but unfortunately, my feet have grown, and now I'm basically a men's UK 10 or 10 and a half, which is basically a US 10.5 or 11. That's no 10.5 or 12. That's basically my size now. I'm either US 11.5 or US 12 now. But before I was a US 10.5 and I could fit into a women's size 13, which equates to a US men's 10.5. But usually the me the women's colorways Air Maxes were always the best. They had loads of corals, loads of bright colors, loads of neons and shit. So I like that he's taken that inspiration and applied it to this New Balance. You've got great use of materials. I love this kind of translucent section here on the upper where you've got this pink showing through and inside this white cage you got the nice pop with the neon laces you got this nice orange hit on the midsole you got great colors here on the outside they look fucking brilliant um and then there's also a blue pair at the top it's a bit darker which i'm not really a fan of and maybe this yellow pair maybe action brunson isn't the best model for them because bless him i like him as a rapper i like him as a personality but he's a big dude so when you see these pictures of him wearing them all you see is the shoes looking like they're about to explode you know what i mean because of how fat his feet are. You can literally see the bulge here on the side um, as his feet are kind of literally exploding on the side of them. So maybe he probably should maybe get some more models to wear them. Um, but as a, as a colorway model, they look great, especially this yellow pair. Look at the tip. You've got this nice suede little tip here. That's fucking beautiful. Uh, mixed in with the yellows and the lime greens and shit. Like, this is a really good... In terms of color combinations, I think he's really smashed it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I think all of them have a suede toe, I think. That's great. So you've got a yellow suede toe on these ones. And the women's colorway, which I like in the middle, is more of a gray suede. And then I guess here on the front, you might have like a more of a darker suede. So they look really cool. I like how they look. Um, I'm not really too sure when they're meant to be dropping release date wise. I haven't really got any information on that. There's actually an article here, courtesy of Hypebeast, that says it's updated. Let's see if they've got any dates. Um, update after a day of revealing the outsole of the Baklava New Balance. Okay, it's called the Baklava New Balance 1906 Rosewater. Action Brunson has provided the first look at the forthcoming shoe. A duo of blurry images posted. With okay, cool. Yeah, the caption says, this is already the most polarizing sick of 2024. You just wait. The caption says, my love of the women's colorway has no end. Women's aerobics meets me. I've been collecting sneakers for 37 years. Exactly, yeah. Um, actually, I've, uh, let me see. My favorite nike air max women's colorway is this 90 which i actually i ended up because i couldn't fit into a women's shoe i ended up having to make these as an id back in the day but this is what i'll show you one of my favorite women's colorways ever and it was on a nike air max 90 it was like a really lovely coral kind of colorway um actually i think it's actually called coral i think that's what it was called i think it's a coral colorway let's see if i can get it up um and i remember making them myself as an id because i couldn't get them in my size but the actual, is it coral? Yeah, that's the colorway. This one. Oh, it's so fucking amazing. This one here. No, actually, that wasn't a women's. This was a regular colorway. I'm not going to lie. Let me take that back. This colorway actually was a regular, but it's one of my favorite ones with the coral and the blue. That's one of my favorite Nike Air Max colorways of all time. Nike Air Maxes are definitely in my top five sneakers of all time. 100%. I love that shape. They look fucking so good. But there was actually another women's colorway that I'm trying to think of. I think it might have been a lime. Was it lime green or something? Let me see if I can get it up on here on the Google images. I think it was like a limey greeny color. It had like a little, it had like, it had like majority white on the upper, but it was fucking beautiful. I can't really see it here. But anyway, what, what, yeah, there we go. That's the women's one. That's the one here. The laser pinks. Oh, that's the one that kind of reminds me of the shoe that Action Bronson's doing here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of this Air Max 90 that came out a long time ago. The laser pinks. Like, they're so fucking beautiful. That's such a good colorway with the silver, the pink, the lavender swoosh. Like, 
one of the best colors of all time. But unfortunately, like I said, they're women's shoes. So they only got up to a, a women's 13, which is equivalent to a, a men's US 10.5. So unless you can squeeze into that, you're kind of fucked. But yeah, women's colorways go hard. Big up action Bronson. Big up action motherfucking Bronson. <laughs> 